We're expecting 100 to 150,000 people downtown every single day. You know, Incredible. thousands of those people uh, are flying in. Oh, yeah. yeah. They they're they're, they're going to start spending money the second they get here and they <laughs> land in Nashville. We like the way that sounds. We do. We hope they do anyway. <laughs> News Channel 5's Blake Rosnowski live at BNA this morning for us to explain how some travelers could run into trouble after they leave the airport. You got to plan ahead. Amy, if people were thinking of putting uh, booking a last minute trip, they could run into trouble, not because there isn't a place to stay, but they were hoping to catch a deal on a good price for a hotel. Take a look at what I found on Google Hotels. What we're seeing is that the cheapest you're going to find close to downtown, they're just under $200 a night with most of those options in the three to $400 range. Some of those hotels like the Omni, you can't even get into because they've been booked for weeks. I also checked Airbnb and although on average the prices looked a bit cheaper, many of those cheaper options are further out from downtown. According to Airbnb, they're expecting hosts to rake in $5 million from the 21,000 people expected to stay in Airbnbs from tomorrow through Saturday. That's the largest in Nashville Airbnb history. And now, as for how much the city is going to profit from this, well, they're not really going to know until after the draft is over. But according to the NFL, when the draft was in the Dallas area in 2018, they raked in more than $125 million in economic impact for that draft. So we're excited to see how that is impacting the Nashville area for this year. Live in BNA, Blake Rosnowski, News Channel 5.